Hello, and welcome to another WWE 2K23 Identity Crisis video featuring this man, Mr. Scott Hall. Rest in peace, bad guy. Greatly missed in the uh, wrestling world, of course. Very influential in the... Uh, one of the more influential wrestlers of all time to have never been world champion. Uh, there's a lot of debate about um, best wrestler, and Scott Hall is certainly included in that conversation frequently and rightly so. But in terms of influential, like Scott Hall helped, you know, was 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 one of the main. I was going to say helped. Helped sounds a bit understated, to be honest. Was one of the main participants. One was one of the main uh, catalysts for a massive change in the trajectory of professional wrestling like there's no other way to state it like there's no way to overstate how much Scott Hall did to change wrestling and of course on WWE 2K23 there are two versions of Scott Hall so yeah let's find out which one's the best one hey Uh, that's what this is all about. I take any wrestlers that have more than one persona and I put them against themselves and we find out which is the best one. We've done this with all sorts. We've done all the John Cena's from Showcase Mode. We've done we've done both of Scott Hall's uh, original NWO compatriots, uh, Kevin Nash and uh, um, Hulk slash Hollywood Hogan. We've done plenty. If, uh, if that tickles your pickle to check out the rest, then feel free. But right now, we're focused on Scott Hall. Who also was Razor Ramon, who is on the game. It's a triple threat match. So let's... Uh, yeah, let's see which of these three versions of Scott Hall was the best. Simple, simple enough concept. So yes, Reza Ramon in WWF. Of course, historic ladder matches with Shawn Michaels. Uh, Intercontinental Champion. Feuded 1-2-3 Kid. Loads of good stuff during this run. Then he jumped to WCW and changed the world as Scott Hall, the NWO version, the one who came out first. But of course, not just that, but Scott Hall in general, you know, was always, always just a great wrestler, great entertainer. Oof, I wouldn't stand too close to that pyro there, Scott. Get him getting cooked in the background. He's not fussed, he's just getting a tan. He's not bothered. Right, so triple threat. Let's get this show on the road, eh? Scott versus Scott versus Reza. So we've got Hall on the front of NWO, Scott Hall, and Chico on the front of non-NWO, Scott Hall. And we've got NWO on the back of NWO, Scott Hall, which should be quite easy to remember too. And Razor Ramon caught between a rock and a hard place there, fighting off both Scott Halls. Oh, but then one of them clubs the other in the back. I think that was NWO Scott Hall that took the bump, uh, took the shot to the back of the neck. Razor Ramon got him by the throat. What's he got in mind here? Oh, what a big body blow. And then knife edge chop to non-NWO Scott Hall. Now going into the abdominal stretch. Oh, look at this. Trying to really stretch Scott Hall there, but broken up by, uh, yes, Scott Hall. Who now grabs Razor by the throat. And it's him with the gut punch. My goodness. Not quite as much impact on it though. Oh, double teamed by the Scots. No, Razor Ramon. Meeting of the minds of the Scott Halls. And now Razor Ramon taking the fight to them. And NWO Hall out of the ring to recuperate. Non-NWO Hall out of the ring to grab some stairs. Of course, no disqualification in a triple threat match. Oh, but decided not to bring them into the ring and talk some trash instead. 
Oh, he threw his toothpick. Vintage. Now Reza Ramon going outside as well. Not going to take that trash talk line down. Uh-oh. We know what's coming here. He's getting by the throat. Oh, so much power in that body blow by Razor Ramon. And now end of your hole launches a toothpick out over the top rope. Did the, uh, the toothpick just do a high spot? <laughs> Razor Ramon is kind of running roughshod over this match, to be honest. Um, he's having a really good time with this so far. I think both Scott Halls are obviously still in it, but Razor's definitely had the upper hand so far. Oh, knee to the midsection of uh, non-NWO Hall, I believe. You know, Razor going to uh, remove the announce table lid. Oh, spinning that, uh, that monitor. Uh-oh. Oh, are we going to finally see a successful double team? Yeah, double neck breaker to Razor Ramon there. Uh-oh. Scoops him up. Oh, press slam. And drops him. Very impressive. Oh, in the face with the steps. One Scott Hall on the other. NWO Hall having a bad time at the receiving end of those steps. Oh, but then Razor chucks the other Scott Hall into the barricade. Maybe celebrating a little prematurely, though. But this one's really broken down. Lots of... Uh, uh, ringside battling, stairs being used, all sorts. Uh oh. Electric chair. And drops him down. Oh. And he, he then kicks it straight back up. Great toughness on display by all, all three incarnations here. All bouncing back for some pretty, pretty heavy hits, but now NWO Hall taking advantage, slamming them into the uh, barricade. Oh, comes at Razor with the uh, steps, but Razor gets the first shot in with the kick to the midsection. And now a headlock. Oh, punch right in the face. But then gets run over by non-NWO Hall, who then hits NWO Hall into the... Uh, what's it called? The ring post. Hard to keep up with these triple threat matches. So much going on. Knife first chops by NWO Hall, and then beats Razor down and celebrates with a two sweet towards the audience. And a bulldog as well. Oh, but look at that, straight back up. Uh, was that non NWO Hall? Oh, and then NWO Hall ran into a hip toss there by Reza Ramon. And an inverted atomic drop as well. Oh. Oh, STO. Oof. And then a hip toss by Reza. This is uh, so non-stop, like, all over the place. Oh, I don't think he has still had a toothpick there, did you? Did he get another toothpick out just to throw it? <laughs> oh, the back of NWO Hall's head can't look like it kind of made contact with the uh, bottom half of those steps. Right on the corner. That's nasty. Bulldog. Big right hand by NWO Hall. Razor fights out of the grip. Non-NWO Hall scoops him up. Sidewalk slam. Are we ever going to get back in the ring? That's the question. This could be the longest identity crisis ever if we just never get back in the ring. It's not false count anywhere despite being no disqualification. And as I say that, we get back in the ring. And now going for the pin is non-NWO Hall. NWO Hall having none of that, but Razor had already kicked out anyway. At one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, outside his edge. Oh, outside his edge to NWO Hall. And going for the pin, I don't know if he just hadn't realized that Razor was was right there. Or uh, what? Oh, a slap for the disrespect to going for the pin while he was standing right there. Uh-oh, now NWO Hall thinking a Razor's edge. And he hits it. And he goes for the pin. Non-NWO Hall back into the ring and breaks it up at two. That could have been it. Oh, and then slams NWO Hall down. And now Greco Roman throat hold. We're getting the technical wrestling out now on uh, Reza Ramon. And Reza's just taken an outsider's edge. This could be it. No, he kicks out. 
Good opportunism by non-NWO Hall, though. Trying to get that win. Oh, now NWO Hall returns to the ring and chucks non-NWO Hall out of the ring. Turns around straight into a razor's edge. Slightly different from the outsider's edge. In that it's exactly the same, it's just called something different. Now, Razor went for the pin, not realising that non-NWO Hall had come straight back into the ring, clearly. Oh, kick into the midsection there. And now going to the outside. Gonna get some steps. And bringing them into the ring this time. First time a weapon has entered the ring during this match. Sidewalk slam by Reza Ramon. STO. Uh, Razor and Scott managed to take the stairs out of the ring. Oh, and Scott Hall's got his click buddy, Triple H's uh, favourite weapon of choice. The sledgehammer, but doesn't manage to use it this time. Razor Ramon gets off lightly there. Oh, into the corner of the steps. Ouch. I didn't know this was an eye for an eye match. And the ring goes NWO Hall, courtesy of non-NWO Hall. He now gets the steps. Oh, and introduces them to Razor's face. Puts them down. Changes his mind. Picks them back up. Oh, but Razor escapes. Bit of a... Uh, Hesitation there by Scott Hall and Reza Ramon capitalised. Oh, disrespectful. But now going back to that abdominal stretch. Going to pull the leg over as well. NWO Hall shouldn't worry here because it's not a false count anywhere. Can't win by submission out here. Let him do his damage. And yeah, he is doing. He's uh, standing and watching. Hip toss. By, uh, to escape by non-NWO Hall. But yeah, good strategy by NWO Scott Hall there. And we seem to have a stalemate. Oh, nope, nope. Non-NWO Hall has regained his wits and uh, fought out of it. Seemed like Razor and NWO Hall were having a bit of a stalemate there, but Razor was just holding non-NWO Hall. Uh-oh. Oh, sledgehammer to the small of the back. Oh, and into the midsection as well. Oh, and again. Good grief. This is relentless. Oh, and eventually Razor manages to fight off. Oh, the slap, the disrespect. They're all very disrespectful. <laughs> there you go. See, exhibit A. <laughs> oh, big clothesline, though, by NWO Hall. Meanwhile, the other Scott Hall looking for a weapon under the ring. What's he got here? A table? Oh, <laughs> to the face. <laughs> to the face. And a slap as well. Again, the disrespect. And then the heel kick into the midsection. Oh, body blow by NWO Hall, though. Fighting back. Knee to the midsection. Razor's brought a chair over. He's threatening to use it, but he's going to wait. Oh, oh, there's the shot into the midsection. And NWO Hall went face first onto the underside of that table. Now Razor's getting involved with the chair, but he's been dispossessed. Oh, and slammed face first into the mats. The very thin mats at ringside. NWO Hall talking trash. Not NWO Hall says, okay, I'll hit you in the stomach with a sledgehammer. And in the back of the neck a couple of times, it looked like. Can't quite see where the contact was made, but I'm assuming either back of the head or back of the neck. Neither is good. Neither is good news for NWO Hall. Razor Ramon, though, taking it to non NWO Hall, hitting him in the back of the knee with a sledgehammer. Now, NWO Hall sends non-NWO Hall into the ring. And slams Razor's head into the barricade at ringside. Now, more of this match has taken place on the outside than inside, I think. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, Razor keeps hold, though. Great show of strength and a second backbreaker. Now, NWO Hall sends a Razor into the ring. Slash talk from non-NWO Hall. Sledgehammer shot from NWO Hall. Oof. Again, we can't see those shots laying in. It's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. It probably didn't look pretty. 
And hitting the back of the head or neck or just in the back with the sledgehammer. Horrible stuff. But uh, he's firing up now, is Scott Hall. Non NWO version, of course. Taking out Razor, now going after NWO Hall. Switches attention back to Razor. They're going back and forth at ringside here. And now a Razor sent back into the ring. Oof. Sledgehammer, nowhere for NWO Hall to go there. Had a barricade behind him, stopping him from going anywhere. Just squished between this, the, the hard end of the sledgehammer, like there's a soft end, and, uh, and the barricade. Uh-oh. Outside his edge. No, Razor escapes. Great counter. And then punches NWO Hall, and that allows non-NWO Hall to continue to be on offense. Oh, overhand chop in the corner. And just dancing on him. Like, that's rude. Uh-oh. Turns round and Reza Ramon is feeling a bit edgy. Slams him down. And goes for the pin, not realising, I, I can only assume, that NWO Hall had recuperated. Now NWO Hall going for the outsider's edge. Non-NWO Hall still down. Oh, he's getting up now. He didn't check. NWO Hall didn't check. And that's cost him. That's cost him. Non-NWO Hall breaks it up at two. And now, another outsider's edge. So this is everyone hitting everyone else with an outsider's edge. Razor's on the outside. This could be it. Non-NWO Hall for the win. No, he kicks out. NWO Scott Hall kicked out. And non-NWO Hall can't believe it. No one kicks out of the outsider's edge. That's one of the most protected finishes in history. At least in the hands of Scott Hall. Oh, clothesline to the outside though. And then a clothesline to the back of the neck. Now Razor goes to the outside. Going to look for some more hardware. He's got a bat. Oh, Scott Hall's had some bad experiences with baseball bats in WCW. You won't appreciate Razor Ramon producing a baseball bat in this match. Not at all. Uh-oh. Scoops him up. Backbreaker holds on to him. We've seen this show sent from Razor. Now we've seen it from NWO Hall. And other Scott Hall, meanwhile, has a kendo stick. They're going to do a lap of the ring to fight. Yep, seems that way, but gets the shot in first as NWO Hall saves himself from a uh, potential kendo sticking. Ah, and a bulldog. And like I say, I'm pretty sure most of this match has been on the outside. This has been crazy. It's just been an all-out brawl constantly. Uh-oh, there's the bat. And uh, yeah, Scott Hall does not have fond memories of baseball bats in a professional wrestling environment. And, uh, Razor Ramon using that against him right now. It's inverted atomic drop though. And non-NWO Hall's like, this is where we have to win the match guys. And NWO Hall runs through Razor Ramon then follows him into the ring. And then straight back out. Because he wants to win a wrestling match, eh? Uh-oh. NWO Hall with the baseball bat. Yeah, this is what you get for introducing my, my biggest fear. <laughs> now, NWO Hall into the ring. Maybe going to grab that sledgehammer. Sure looks like it. Comes out. To non NWO Scott Hall. <laughs> Woo! Someone was very excited about that then. Razor sent tumbling to the outside there. Or to the to the corner of the outside area. Uh oh, double handed choke slam. And throws up the two sweet. Uh oh. Going after the knee. Uh oh, and Razor Ramon, this is what Razor's good at. He's got a ladder. He knows his way around a ladder. Does Razor Ramon. Which, by proxy, means so does Scott Hall. But Scott Hall, not known for ladder matches in the same way that Razor Ramon is in terms of, you know, specifically the matches taking place with that particular gimmick, if, if that makes sense. Sledgehammer to the back of the neck, though, and then one into the knee or shin of Razor Ramon. And now, going for the pin, I actually can't see which Hall is pinning which here. It was NWO Hall pinning the other one. As Razor rolls to the outside, but only a two count. 
Uh oh. Vase is on the outside. Outside is edge time. On the ladder. The ladder's right there. Oh my god, the back of his head hit the ladder, hit the edge of the ladder, but Razor comes back in and breaks it up. Oh no, that ladder is looking even more precarious now. And then Razor back to the outside to get the table. Oh no. Choke slam. Oh, he missed the ladder, thankfully. Oh my god. And now NWO Hall goes for the pin. Razor on the outside showing off. He's lucky there because non NWO Hall kicked out. Razor wouldn't have been there in time. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't like the positioning of this. Look where the ladder is. Look where the ladder is. Oh my god. That would be it if it weren't for the fact that non NWO Hall had rec recovered in the background and Razor hadn't noticed. Choke slam to Razor Ramon. And now Scott Hall, non NWO version. Two. Razor kicks out. My goodness. This match is never ending. Uh oh. Might be about to end now. Razor to the outside to try and recuperate. Meanwhile, NWO Scott Hall with the outsider's edge. Goes to the pin. One. Two. He kicked out. Oh my god. <laughs> it just goes on and on, my friend. This is a great match, but it's, it's just showing no signs of it ending anytime soon. Uh oh, chair. Nope. NWO Hall says, nope, not this time. Nice Northern Light -like suplex to uh, Reza Ramon there. And he says, thanks for bringing the chair in. I think I'll make use of this. And he's going to wedge it in the corner. Interesting. I wonder what he's got planned for that. Uh oh, Scott Hall. Oh, drapes Reza. Throat first across the top rope, but then gets bulldogged by NWO Scott Hall. Scoops him up. Reza drops down behind. Belly to back suplex. Sledgehammer is waiting for NWO Scott Hall to get to his feet. Oh, and that might have been a mistake. Gets hit with the shoulder and then the inverted atomic drop. Non NWO Hall has a bat. NWO Hall, watch out. Oh, into the midsection. Oh, and then, oh, just bonked him on the back of the head. Oh, dispossessed though by NWO Hall. Oh, rolls out the way. Oh, and then gets hit square in the mush. Oh, dodges out the way. Misses the swing. Oh, gets knocked backwards into the grasp of Reza Ramon. Oh, who then gets hit in the midsection with the bat for his troubles. Roly poly through out the way. And finally, NWO Hall has been dispossessed. Inverted atomic drop. Now, Razor disapproves of this plan. Removes the chair from its wedged position. Oh, <laughs> it just hits non-NWO Hall right in the face. Right in the face. And then puts it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jawbreaker by non-NWO Hall, though. Double hand choke slam. Grab from behind by NWO Hall. Headlock. Oh, punch in the face. Baseball bat in hand. Oh, hits him right in the hip. That can't be good. And now going for the pin after hitting him twice with the bat. One, two, three. He got him. Scott Hall couldn't kick at NWO Scott Hall. No, that is NWO Scott Hall. Non-NWO Scott Hall couldn't kick out because of his injured hip. Amazing strategy by NWO Scott Hall in the end. And he picks up the win. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you're new here for more simulated gameplay stuff. And uh, share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Also, let me know in the comments any any matches you'd like to see uh, on any simulatable video game. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.